now i will bring uh, a case study of how we went about uh, uh, doing ppps in andhra and telangana now many states are coming forward to implement a similar model when government of andhra pradesh thought of scaling up this fsm fstp across the towns all 110 towns the first and the foremost thing was uh, they didn't had sufficient resources because swachh bharat mission uh, usme paisa diya nahi hai because uh, swachh bharat mission was primarily looking at uh, toilet building but government wanted to go beyond toilets so one of the motivation for them to look at public private partnership under a model called hybrid entity model is the motivation was uh, to have certain capital investment the second motivation was you know this fstp business is new to them they have not seen it because uh, andhra had no underground drainage system there's no sewerage expertise in the state so if you don't have sewerage uh, expertise in the municipal system or in the phd then you have limited understanding of, of this sector so that's why they thought okay we don't know this sector to have uh, josna can you hear me yes sir we can hear you clearly yeah. so uh, then it is better to have a long term arrangement where private sector not only creates an asset but maintains it so that's another reason why they went for a public private partnership that they didn't want just uh, capital investment but also somebody to manage it uh, for a long period of time as a oem so here you can see on the screen they created a uh, the model here is called hybrid entity model hybrid entity model is a risk sharing arrangement it's an interesting model where 50% of the capital cost will be paid during the construction period of 6 months in three installments the balance 50% of the capital cost of the project along with 9 and 1/2 years of the operation and maintenance will be paid in 38 equated month uh, quarterly installments so it means the capital cost will not be paid up front like in epc but capital cost will be gradually paid hum isko bolte hain private sector has a skin in the game they have skin in the game so that they continue to be with the government for 10 year period which is the life of this project or the contract duration so that is why it is called hybrid annuity model the structure here is that uh, there is a escrow account an independent account is created private developer and gop they uh, transact through this escrow account basically the private developer develops the project and the private developer gets 50% money paid during the construction period and the balance 50% will be paid through the through a, the life of the project or the contract period of 10 years and the private developer borrows money from the lender and ulb is not paying money directly in this case but ulb is providing council resolution land power water approach road that sort of things they provide now there is a third party agency called independent engineer who is basically a agency to monitor the quality project monitoring and performance links payment advice is paid by the third party agency so in the process the fs fstp asset creation and maintenance is taken care for next 10 years this is a model has been done 75 fs uh, 76 fstps are packaged into uh, six packages no seven packages each package is given to different vendor and uh, package mein jo hai 10 projects hote hain because that is the only way to bring financial viability to the whole project so that's how it is done you can see here both in andhra as well as in telangana 76 projects in andhra 71 projects and ulbs in telangana organized into seven clusters and this clustering is done based on the geographic proximity for ensuring operational eff uh, effectiveness and every cluster would have a laboratory so that uh, quality assurance and other things can be thought of now there are challenges there are implementation issues but it is one of the ways in which to bring private sector competency and resources uh, to improve fsm sector now because of this close to 259 crores of investment has been unlocked 
from the private sector in Andhra, and the almost same amount is unlocked in the case of Telangana. Now, municipalities at times or even the state governments may not have that ability to earmark these budgets, especially during this COVID period when the economy is down. So the private sector has come handy to support the government in making this and the government can pay gradually over a period of 10 years. There is a direct employment. There's a very clear impact on the people uh, because private sector is there, the worker safety, PP usage, uh, and increased income is also assured for the workers and a uh, lot of new technologies have come because of that new job creations have happened. Uh, there is a lot of, uh, uh, you know, downstream activities have been created because of this a number of projects. Even today in uh, one of the towns, uh, Siddhi, Siddhi Pate, an FSTP project, you can see uh, today it was inaugurated and uh, many more projects because of some reasons we couldn't inaugurate actually five projects were to be inaugurated today uh, this morning but one go project got inaugurated and uh, this is one model which we are looking at it there are other different contracts which i will not discuss right now there are uh, very interesting service contracts for desludging alone uh, this is a hyderabad model where desludging how varangal is going for a bundled contract is actually uh, Varangal is establishing 150 KLD capacity, one of the biggest uh, project in the country with uh, scheduled desludging. So starting from the collection, transportation and treatment will be combined together into a single contract and uh, this scheduled desludging operation will be carried out. So the point...